Check this one out here, right now. Swish. Defender sort of lets you shoot. I still gotta make it, Dad. I'm still trying to impress him. You went to see your dad. Lots happened in the last two weeks. Remind me, what are his main health challenges? He's 92? No, he's 93. My brother Steve says he's just outliving his parts. Would you please set up an appointment to talk to the hospice people? Jane, he's not terminal yet. I'm not of any use to any of you anymore. Dad, you're of use to me. Please, don't, don't tell Jane how I'm doing. The staff here does say that you can only be in your room if you always have a home health worker with you. In the room? I still don't know what, what those people are going to do all the time. I can spend more time with you here if that's what you really wanted. But you just said you felt guilty because you're not sure you meant it. What do you mean by that? I'd say I have a really complicated relationship with the extended care facility. They can't sweep away the sadness that lives in this hall. But what I've learned in these last few visits is that there are so many stories that he's never told before because I keep hearing new ones. So I walked hand in hand with these two black men to Griffith Park. So the Yankees beat the Senators. Uh, God, I hated those Yankees ever since. He wrote a book? Yep, about his war experiences. Tired, cold, and wet, we got the job done. You see, Paul, you wouldn't tell a private, go across that field, or if anybody shoots at you, come tell me. It's like telling him, your life is less important than mine. So what do you do, Dad? You tell them, we go together. We go together. It's just so great talking to you. You, sir, were an enlisted man's officer. I hope you understand what I'm saying. No, still sharp mentally. I mean, he's great to talk to, actually, uh, but he's just wearing out. You know, I'm not afraid anymore. You're not afraid of what, Dan? Not afraid of dying. He started talking today about not eating and drinking anymore to um, bring the end closer. So I was wondering if you might be able to squeeze in a visit to him soon. Uh, John, I just, I don't think I'd wait too long. Every breath is part of your story, Tom. I just got the call. Dad's unresponsive. You see that train coming that we've been talking about. You just get on board, okay? I don't think I ever want to forget it. You never will.